You are now listening to Sir Inc.'s The Experience Podcast, where we talk about anything and everything king. Now, this podcast is only catered to those that are 18 and above and may not be suitable for work, or as we like to say, NSF. But remember, you can always listen to us during your private time. Hello, kinky and kinkers folk out there. My name is Sir Inc. Hello, I'm back. It's your boy, I'm back. And my topic today is every dom should have his or her own style. That's right. Every dom should have their own style. Now, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because I know when you first get into the lifestyle, you're looking at The things that's on the internet, the pictures, you guys have heard me talk about this a whole lot, how we use these pictures and we try to emulate these pictures. And what happens is trying to emulate what you see in pictures actually takes away from individuality. And actually, these are pictures like this is professional stuff. It's supposed to look grandiose. It's supposed to bring you in like that, right? Because they're selling a fantasy. And mostly they're selling a fantasy to women. It's not even for men. They're selling it to men in a a way of ego. Like, you know, this this well-dressed man with two beautiful women, you know, scantily dressed and on their knees. Or he's walking them with, with, with collars around their neck. You know, this kind of stuff. You know, it's all grandiose for the internet, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's really grandiose. Some people may be living like that. Not everybody living like that, though, you know? And so what happens is you can't chase the images. You can't chase the fantasy of the lifestyle. You actually just have to be yourself. Trust me, I've been there when I've gotten in the lifestyle and I've learned, you know, some of the basics. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to do my thing, you know. But then I'm like, oh, I like the way that look. Let me, I'm going to try to do that. You know, I'm going to try to get that look, you know. You know, like, oh, I'm going to just do the suits and, you know, da-da-da-da. And actually, no. I mean, what I found about myself is I, I wasn't really happy with trying to fit into a box that wasn't really me. But you know what? Wearing suits, that's part of my personality. Yes, I do like wearing suits. And then there's another part of me that wears T-shirts and jeans. And then there's another part of me that, you know, dresses in between. And so I found my own happy medium just being myself. You know, when you are online and when you go to munches and you go to different places and you see, you know, different doms, you know, you realize like, wow, everybody has their own style. You know, there's some, there's some people that, you know, are, are rocking the t-shirt and jeans, jean look and more cowboy look, you know, and then you have some guys that a dom I know that's rocking more the African style look. And then, you know, you have some guys that is giving you the more uh, European look, you know, so I mean, there's just different styles for everyone, and I just think that it's best that you, you know, know who you are, and bring your style, your flavor to the table, and don't worry about if everybody's not gonna like it. Because sometimes I think we do it because we want to be accepted by other people. And again, I've been there. I understand. You know, I've, I've been running the page since 2011, easy 2011, and you know. And I would post things and I would see what things got more likes. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to post that kind of stuff. But then I post more of that stuff. And then I look, I'm like, well, now I'm getting likes, but it's not really my own content, number one. And number two, my page looked like a bunch of other pages out here now. Like everybody's just posting memes and da-da-da. And, and we're all swapping the same ones. So you know what? I need to just bring out more of who I am. And just bring that to the table. So the people that follow me, follow me because of the things that I put up that resonate with me. So now if I find a meme or I find something, someone wrote an article or, you know, or just wrote something about the lifestyle, I'm going to post it with my own sentiments with it. 
Well, I'll post it because it resonates with me. I'm not just posting because it's it's a hot meme with, you know, some, uh, you know, a hot picture with some words on top of it. No, 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 not at all. I'm not going to post this hot chick. Just daddy joke me like that's not going to do that. So, again, every dime has to have their, have their own style. And when you get more comfortable in the lifestyle, you get more comfortable with yourself. These things come out. These things come out. It's easy to see. It's really not that hard. You know, you just have to be comfortable with yourself. And you have to know that you're not perfect. You don't have to be perfect. Even if you have 10 years experience, 20 years experience, 20 weeks experience, it's okay to talk about it. It's okay to be a novice. You know, it's okay to like chronicalize your journey in a lifestyle as I have. And as I reflect back, as I, you know, as I reflect back and listen to some of my older audio and some of my older writings, it's like, wow, I like that. (laughs) You know, I like the fact that that's my, my thoughts and I can see where I've changed over time. It's almost like, you know, audio journal to a degree or like a written journal, but just on social media for people to see. And it's just really nice to see, you know, even my own growth, you know. So, again, chase your own style. Be your own dominant, you know. Of course, you can take some from the person over there and the, the dominant over there and the dom over here and the dom online. You can take little bits and pieces if they resonate with you. If they're who you are, then I say, yes, take those things and... Implement them into your own your own swag. But if you're just looking at Fifty Shades of Grey and you want to be Christian Grey and you want to, you know, emulate that and, you know, come out with that. I mean, there's so many people doing the same thing. So many people doing the same thing. And I remember this one guy. It's real funny. Real funny. A guy named Pimpin White Folk. <laughs> that's right pimp and white folk it's a pimp and he said there's plenty of room at the top it's just crowded on the bottom and so that's it everybody like if you're trying to be like everyone else it's crowded in that room but being an individual you stand alone there's plenty of air up there there's plenty of room up there and you can enjoy yourself not everybody may like it you know but if you're going for likes you're doing it for the wrong reason anyway. But what do you think? Let me know. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being a part of my journey. Please like, subscribe, and share if this resonates with you. And until next time. You know how to find me, Sir INQ, on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And you can always email me at sirinq09 at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Until next time, peace.